What's good? You are now rocking with the best. Roe Parish right here. Studio B Game Time presented by Kia along with John Barry and Devin Harris. We've just witnessed the Philadelphia 76ers survive in advance. They win the series 4-2 against the Toronto Raptors. They win by 35. Really, the game really wasn't even that close going into the second half. Third quarter was huge. We're going to talk about that momentarily. But first, got to put this poll question up for the viewers because we need to know now that we have our final four set in the Eastern Conference, who is the favorite to come out of the East? So pull out your phone, let it be known, scan that QR code, and let us know who you feel like is the favorite now in the Eastern Conference. So, Devin, with that said, you see right there on the screen, we can see the numbers fluctuate. In your opinion, who is your favorite in the East? In my opinion, I'm going with Miami Heat. Why? If, if you look at the season that they've had, they've had a ton of injuries, guys in and out of the lineup, major key guys, and they figure out a way to win games. They close out a game with no Kyle Lowry, no Jimmy Butler, and they still take care of business. And defensively, you can see what they're about. They literally shut Trey Young down. It was not a point in any series where he had one good game. That, that was it. So defensively, they guard. They move the ball around. They have multiple guys. They got a bench. They got everything that they need. But they're just a deep team. And they're locked in. Biggest thing, Jimmy Butler, all that argument stuff that they had going on. They were just preparing themselves for the intensity of the playoffs. I like where they're at and how they're playing. That, that's my pick. Gotta keep an eye on that Jimmy Butler situation and his injury as well. Kyle Lowry, John, who you got in the East? Bro, look at all these bandwagon fans. 47 on oh, the Sixers. <laughs> Everybody had them losing tonight. And well, now the Sixers? Well, we, we, let's, let's just keep it a buck. We just had the Sixers <laughs> on our network, so there's probably uh, a lot of Sixers fans watching. Let's, you know. A lot of them on the wagon. Well, Wa watching know. on the wagon. You know how they are in Philadelphia. No, I'm all right. I'm all right with it. I pick Philly if you recall to win tonight. <laughs> yes, you did. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going Boston. I mean, that's a hot team. Uh, you, you saw what they just did to Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving. Uh, defensively, they're the best team in the league. They've been the best team in the league for about two and a half months. Uh, a tough start for them. I believe they were 17 and 20, and then they turned the corner. Uh, they got a feel for uh, Udoka, Coach Udoka's uh, system. Jason Tatum is sharing the ball. He's a great playmaker. He's an uh, underrated defender. Jalen Brown's terrific. Grant Williams played really good in this series. Marcus Smart, the heart and soul of the Celtics. Uh, this team is tough. Uh, they have a belief, and, and I think Boston's the team to beat. Boston and Milwaukee, they will start on Sunday. This other series, Philadelphia, they just win. They will play the Miami Heat. So many different storylines in that one. We're going to eventually get to that somewhere down the road, but we'll focus on this game tonight. And, and John, just coming to you on this one, that third quarter, we saw after the halftime, the Sixers came out. They were motivated. They put up 37 points. They hit six threes in that quarter and just really put the, you know, the foot on the neck of the Raptors. What did you think in, of, of that quarter when you watched it? Yeah, well, it was. we talked about James Harden getting in rocket mode. Uh, we saw that, but I was impressed with Philadelphia's defense. They gave up 17 points in that quarter. Remember, 61 points for Toronto in the first half. They only get 36 in the second half. On top of that, they were getting smashed on the boards. Minus nine was Philly in the first half, plus 19 in the second half on the boards. They were all over them. Defensively, they were great. They were aggressive. Joel Embiid got the ball in the paint. James Harden was James Harden. And Philadelphia looked like the team that Daryl Morey put together when they sent Ben Simmons out and brought James Harden in. You know, they definitely impose, impose their will, but I think Toronto just ran out of gas a little bit. And, you know, when you're down 3-0, your margin of error is so small. They got the first game, okay, a little bit of confidence. They won the second game, two games in a row. But when you're back against the wall, you got to expend so much energy on a night-to-night -night basis. And I think that second half, they just didn't have anything left. Legs are tired, couldn't make shots. And Philly, for whatever reason, defensively yeah. got after it. And they just they didn't have enough in the tank to kind of to keep that game going. Legs tired combined with the defensive uh, play of the Philadelphia 76ers held the Toronto Raptors to 28% shooting in the second half, including 20% for three. They only shot four for 20 in the second half. So the defense improving, maybe a combination again of the tire legs. Nevertheless, the Philadelphia 76ers win the game and a big story before everybody was talking about it. Doc Rivers, they couldn't seem to close out. We know he holds the record for most comeback wins after being down 3-1, uh, a dubious record. However, you know, his teams had lost seven of the last closeout attempts. They figure out a way to get it done. Maybe he leaves his players in a little bit too long. Around the six-minute mark, they're up 20. You still have the majority of your starters in the game. What did you think about how the Sixers closed that last quarter? Well, I think, one, the Sixers heard all the noise about their coach. You know, they had a hard practice coming in before. They needed up their intensity. I think they, they definitely came in to support their coach. And, like, you know, we're going to end this for you tonight. We're going to end all this noise. And that was a good it thing to see. They closed out the game. But sometimes you don't want to leave any error of doubt. So you want to make